Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Well, today we are going to solve one more interesting problem from courtship, which is called ID and ship. I'm truly saying this is really, really interesting. So let's begin this by reading the problem. The problem is all about writing a program that takes in a letter class ID of a ship and display the equivalent string class description of the given ID. Use the table below. Okay, here is a table of class ID and ship class. If the user gives capital B or small b as an input, then we have to print it as battleship. If the user gives capital C or small c, then we have to print cruiser. If the user gives capital D or small d, we have to print destroyer and the same with the frigate. Means no matter the input is uppercase or lowercase we have to print that particular ship class that's it so coming to the input the first line contains an integer t where t is nothing but the total number of test cases then t lines follow each line contains a character okay coming to the output for each test case display the ship class depending on id in a new line coming to the constraints t ranges from 1 to 1000 and this is an interesting example okay in the first line we have to take test cases input so here the test case value is 3 means we are going to take three times the user input in the first line in the first line the user gave capital b as input so we have to print battleship as output in the second case user gave small c as input means the user may give capital c or the user may give small c it depends on the user but no matter whether the given input is capital or small we have to print the particular ship class that's it so in the third case the user gave capital t means we have to print destroyer the names are interesting right it was fun Okay, let's write code for this. Okay, coming to the coding part. Let's first create a dictionary. Okay, this dictionary will have all these ID and ship class details. Okay, I will take capital B this time and and you have to give each and every key and value in dictionary in string. Don't forget that. So First one is battleship, right? And the second one is C. I think C. And I don't remember the spelling. So I'm going to copy this here and I'm going to paste this there. Second one, I think it's D. Third one, it's D. destroyer F frigate and here if you observe I made a mistake here the battleship spelling is not correct spelling is correct but here s is uppercase and i gave it lowercase i did this mistake just to understand whether the code will submit or not means the code chef algorithm works this way if the output that you generated is equal to the output that they already have are equal then only it will submit your code if not it will not submit your code it will definitely say wrong answer for you to understand i did this mistake and i'll keep it like that until i submit the code and later you will understand how the course of algorithm works okay so let's be like that and let's focus on the logical part okay now we have a dictionary where we have ids and we have all the ship names means ship classes now let's take test cases input sorry so test case equal to end of input for each and every test case line, we have to take that string as input, right? So for underscore in range of, actually it's not a string, it's a character. So let's give C as a variable and we are going to take directly the input. We are not going to convert it to integer because this is character. You don't have to convert it to integer. The Python implicitly takes input as character or strings. So you don't worry about that. Now you took C as input, right? But here, if you observe the input, if you observe the input, no matter the input is whether capital or small, we have to print the corresponding ship class of that particular number, right? Of that particular input. So what are we going to do is we are going to convert the given input to either upper or lower. In my case, the key is in uppercase, right? So in order to access this dictionary, we have to convert the given input to uppercase. So there is a function called upper. 
so if you do input dot upper even if the user give the lower case you will get the this will convert the given string or character to upper case that's it so now what happens is if the user gives small c as input this will get converted to capital c so if we print dict of c let's see what happens oh my god i gave test case spelling wrong where okay it happens sometimes yeah it's working and now if we can even optimize this code instead of creating a variable of c we can directly copy this and we can paste this inside dictionary and let's delete this one let's check whether it's working or not yeah it's working and now if we submit this let's see whether it will be correct or wrong see we got a wrong answer even though the logic is correct even though the output is correct we got wrong answer because here the battleship spelling is wrong according to the algorithm of courtship okay and now if we submit see now we got a correct answer please be careful while writing while creating a dictionary and creating all these class names ship class names I mostly prefer you to copy that from the question itself and paste it here. It will be better and you will not get any such errors. So the logic is correct, but even though the courtship is not accepting your code is because of this spelling from the dictionary. It happens sometimes like that. So please be careful while doing it. And if you like the video, then hit that cute little like button because that motivates me to make more interesting technical stuff for you. And if you have any doubts, you can comment me or you can ping me on instagram or you can mail me to my official mail the links will be in the description and if you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you'll never miss an update from me thank you